Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture of Quality and Reliability Engineering. I am Milan Trivedi, Assistant Professor at Elgin Institute of Engineering and Technology. In today's class, we are going to continue with our chapter 6 that is Reliability. In this chapter, we already understood the definition of reliability, the concept of reliability along with the failure, some of the basic functions related to the reliability. Now in today's class, we are going to discuss about the life characteristic. Now when we talk about the life characteristic, normally we mean a product life, right? There are certain characteristics which is relevant to the product life. Let us understand that four different life characteristics. The first one is a measurement of a life, right? Now in the case of measurement of life of any of the product, we need to understand the three different terms. The first one is a mean time to failure. The second one is mean time between failure and the third one is mean time to repair. From the name itself, we get the judgment that what does it actually mean. But let us understand the concept fundamentally. First thing is mean time to failure. Now, the first thing that is the asset is installed and we start using it. From that point of time, until and unless it fails, that time duration is nothing but it is a mean time to failure, right? We started using some product and it fails for the very first time. So the entire time duration between that two time uh, intervals is nothing but it is a mean time to failure. Now as the part is uh, out of uh, service, we need to repair it. So, so after a certain time duration, we start repairing that object. Now once we are repairing, it will take some time. And after some time interval, it will be again back into the operation or normal operation. So the time taken to repair that entire machine or any of the product is identified as a mean time to repair. Once the machine is back in operation, we have started using that machine or any of the product. Again, it is failing. So the time duration between that two, once back in operation until unless it fails again, that is the mean time between failure, right? So this is a fundamental definition. Mathematically, if you want to find out that things, then it can be easily evaluated with the help of this different formulas. The first one is mean time between failure that can be drawn with the help of uh, this total operational time divided by the total number of failures. When you want to find out the mean time to failure, it can be easily evaluated if you know the total hours of operation and the total number of units or number of products or maybe a number of machine basically. Right? The mean time to repair is a ratio of total maintenance time divided by the total number of repairs. Right? So these are the three terms related to the measurement of lifetime. When we talk about a product lifetime, we normally understood these three different parameters. Now let us understand the second life characteristic that is a dispersion. Now in a broader term, dispersion is nothing but a, something which is having a fluctuation, which is having a variation, right? Here we are talking about a variation of data, right? Whatever data we are having for the product, maybe a data of lifetime, maybe a operation parameter of any of the product, some data we are having of the product, right? So how that data is, right? How variation is available in that data, that is something but it is a dispersion, the variation in the data, right? Now from the data we are plotting a graph, right? So this is a graph scenario for the data we are having some mean value, right? That is a center part. So from the mean value how the different data varies, right? As per that, we are plotting a graph. This is a mean value the, and these are the different points of the different, different data values, right? So how is the characteristic behavior of the graph pattern can be observed that data in the first case, this scenario, the most of the data is near around the mean value or the average value. In the second case, the fluctuation is more. So from this kind of graph plotting, we can get certain idea that how is our data is, right? And that can be helpful in order to find out the reliability of the product also, right? If uh, let's say if uh, 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 motor RPM we are measuring, let's say, so it should be 600 RPM, but at any instant of time, if it is fluctuating between let's say 400 to 800, 
right so that entire plot we need to make so that we can get to know that how much reliable our product is now again this data can be of two type that is a absolute or can be a relative now this is very easy to understand absolute means those data which are having a common unit let's say rupees meter these are called as absolute values uh, in the case of relative the data which uh, for which we are plotting a graph is again dependent on some other data so it may be a coefficient of something coefficient of range or maybe a uh, let's say product of something or in respect of something we are measuring right so that is called as a relative measurement the third characteristic is a skewness skewness is nothing but it means lack of symmetry the graph we are talking about it is same thing but the graph is showing some uh, uh, dissymmetry means it is not symmetric on central axis see in the case of this dispersion from the center axis the graph is similar on left and right both side but if the graph appears like any of this three scenarios it is called as a skewness but center one is a symmetrical distribution so that we cannot call as a skewness basically sorry uh, uh, di uh, unsymmetry so it cannot be called as a skewness but if uh, skewness is there it can be a positive skew or it can be a negative skew because it lacks a symmetry now how to find this positive skewness or the negative skewness for that we need to find out the mean median and mode of all the data which is available with us right now from the mean median and mode data we plot a curve right if the curve appear like this see the mode value is that point at which the peak is observed right all the three graph you see the mode point is that point at which the maximum point is available right we need to observe in this if mode point is before median and mean then the curve is called as a positive skew and in the case of negative skew mode appears after mean and median right then that scenario is called as a negative skew okay so from this uh, people are taking the judgment that how much product reliable is right normally in order to have a best reliability we must have a symmetric curve symmetric distribution right this center part in which the mean median mode of the data appears on a central axis the fourth and the last characteristic we need to understand whenever we talk about a product life is a kurtosis again it is a broader version of skewness if you see uh, basically skewness was indicating about the difference of mean median and mode but in the case of kurtosis we go more into the depth of symmetric distribution right whenever you are having this kind of symmetric distribution there can be a three different scenarios of a graph if you observe these three graphs carefully there is a variation in the tail part right in this case tail end is more in the second red case the tail end is very less so or if you can see carefully if, let us say there is on central axis so from the central axis there is more variation in the red case then uh, we are having uh, some more variation in the case of meso kurtic or normal case this green colored and in the case of this sky blue colored you will you will observe higher variation as compared to about right so that is nothing but it is uh, we are having a three different scenarios so we are just naming in the case of kurtosis kurtosis is nothing but refers to as pickardness pickardness means the degree to which the data values are concentrated around the mean that central part will naturally be called as a mean data value from that mean data value how this different datas are being there that is being plotted right if it is in narrow region we are calling it as a leptocurtic leptocurtic distribution shows heavy tails on either side in the case of mesocurtic it is called as a normal distribution that means the data follows a normal values and in the case of platycurtic platycurtic reveals a distribution with flat tails here you see that the tail end is very flat right there will be a wide 
uh, variations in the data which is available with us right so from this basic data values we are plotting a curve right and from the curve we can ju just check that how much product reliable it is right the work the motor example i had given right now so that kind of judgment we can take that the product is been designed to perform this kind of function but uh, the data shows the different different variations so from that data variations we are just giving the different names and from that we can get the judgment that product showing this different different reliability scenarios right so that is the main purpose to find out the life characteristic that's all for the today's lecture thank you for watching